air and atmosphere air is useful in many ways like for respiration photosynthesis burning etc respiration plants and animals both breathe in air all living things inhaled air and also exhaled air the oxygen present in air we use to break down food and release energy the process of breaking down of food to give out energy and carbon dioxide is called respiration during the process of respiration carbon dioxide releases food plus oxygen energy plus water vapors plus co2 photosynthesis green plants manufacture food by the process of photosynthesis plants use sunlight to prepare their food food is prepared only in the leaves of plants because they are green the green color of leaves is due to the presence of a special pigment called chlorophyll to sum up photo light synthesis to make is a process by which plants use carbon dioxide of air combine it with water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to prepare their food and oxygen do you know why it is not advisable to sleep under tree during night this is because both of you are respiring simultaneously during night so you may experience lack of oxygen if you sleep under the tree because at night no photosynthesis means no oxygen is formed photosynthesis and respiration while respiration occurs during day as well as night photosynthesis occurs only during daytime rate of respiration is very low at daytime photosynthesis cannot occur in the absence of sunlight air is necessary for burning burning or combustion is a chemical change in which oxygen combines and energy releases in the form of heat and light when we burn wood coal candle or anything it releases heat and energy activity to show that air supports burning take a candle light it and place a glass jar over it as shown here you will observe that candle stops burning after some time this happens because oxygen present in the air inside the jar is used up by the burning candle since no more oxygen is available the candle stops burning rusting another slow oxidation process is rusting when iron is exposed to air in the presence of moisture a reddish brown coating is formed on it this is called rusting and the reddish brown hydrated oxide of iron is called rust as it is evident from the definition two important conditions for rusting are air and moisture let us perform an activity to check it out rusting is a phenomenon which makes iron weak and it loses its strength it is prevented by painting oiling greasing enameling and electroplating iron articles which prevent oxidation of iron by air in the nature activity take three test tubes and place some iron nails in each of them close the mouth of first test tube with cotton wool containing fused calcium chloride fused calcium chloride absorbs moisture and hence it will keep the iron nails dry pour preboiled water in second test tube preboiled water is devoid of oxygen add a drop of kerosene to stop air from dissolving in water add little ordinary water in the third test tube you will observe after few days that nails kept in the third test tube are getting covered with a brown coating called rust 
while nothing happens to nails kept in first and second test tube. The reason is obvious. Nails kept in first test tube got air but no moisture while in second test tube nails got moisture but no air. Hence we conclude that both air and moisture are required for rusting.